So what Brand did when he bought it, he bought it yesterday. And he was like, man, I'm not, I don't like the fact that I'm level one. And I got to level through the f base game and the two expansion, three expansions. So he bought a book to skip through all the main story missions. <laughs> he hey, bought... I don't just walk, uh, I don't think you do. Just go into the chat party. Okay, I, I, pre I see it. I went to that main screen and it showed like login and stuff like that. I guess I had the YouTube app on my. You should just be able to go right into the. It, it it did that to me yesterday when Mike was doing it. Um, give me a second. This sh this shit is draining. I want to see. Are you watching? No, no. It's just Okay, now. Also, if you go, if you go into, if you go to, um, why is it draining slow? Oh, that's not right. Yeah, that's how I did it for Mike. Or just go to YouTube.com and look up XDC Gaming and watch it that way. You don't have to sign in. You're just going as a guest. What what do you see? Oh, see, this is the old one. All right, that was a, that was the old one. It is like my man Hef in the house, man. Prodigy. Oh, that's an old one. But are you seeing the game? I don't know what I'm doing in that game, but I have a. I'm, I'm live right now on this. I don't know why it's not letting you watch me live. Try going back through the. X period T period C gaming. Now, no period after the C. Just gaming, and it should be bring up a green X.
All right, so that's me, okay. <clears throat> so what you're seeing is, that's my character right there. Um, that big penis? Hey, what up, Bran? <laughs> I'm trying to show Merc these, what this game's about. Mm. So there's three different classes. There's healers, tanks, and DPS. So, tank. That's a tank. Where are you at? I'm back at the house. <clears throat> okay. Uh, this is a healer. So we can teleport right back to this now, right? <clears throat> yeah, once you unlock it, Bran, you can just queue up for it in the duty finder. Okay, that's a healer. You know, any little staff and shit. And then... DPS. Okay. The object of the game, obviously, is to f fight shit and kill it. Fireball! You know? So, let me show you some of the fighting. <clears throat> like I told you before, this Final Fantasy ends on about going through menu-driven actions. It's all open world, free. Like, you see how I'm hitting the buttons? To do my moves. And you're all fighting side by side with other people and shit gets crazy and intense. And you're fighting big dragons and shit. No, you can fight other people. Yeah, you can fight other people. Um... It's a PV, there's a PvP aspect to this. And there's the social part of it as well. Like, you go do raids with your team and try to beat these godly monsters. Like, I'll show you the menu of, of how many different fights there are. Okay. <clears throat> so, you see the menu that I have up, right, on the screen? It says a realm reborn, heaven's ward, stormblood. Each of those words is a part of the game. Like realm reborn is the base game. Heaven's ward is the ex first expansion. Stormblood is the second expansion, and Shadowbringers is the third installment. But when you go into these individually, all these are dungeons within that storyline that you can do and go fight with your friends. Okay? Now each one has dungeons in it. You see all these dungeons? Yeah. That's a lot of dungeons, right? Yeah, yeah you can go into that dungeon, okay? Now, this is the new expansion, so they got it on a separate roll. Because it's the newest installment. So those are what I have unlocked so far for this for this uh, expansion. Then these are eight man eight man trials where you're fighting primals like Ifrit, uh, Separath, um, Garuda. There's there's Titan. Uh, this motherfucker. I don't know his name is. Uh, then there's normal, then there's hard, and then there's extreme. The harder the fight, the better the, the gear and the loot that you get. Okay? So each, each, each uh, expansion has its own set of things to do. So high-end trials, the extremes. Uh, Stormblood, same thing, high-end, extremes. And then... There's the new expansions. Then there's alliance raids, which, we, what, that which me and Brand just unlocked one. I unlocked this one for him. For uh, that's the first one, level 51. There's three level 50, 24 man raids. So there's three teams of eight fighting one huge monster. It's 
It's crazy. Then, uh, under that is eight-man raids, but you're fighting Bahamut. The el it's an elder primal, which is like top dog, top dog, pretty much. He's Bahamut. And then, to get to Bahamut, you gotta fight five b bosses on turn one through five. Then there's the second coil, which goes through one through four. Each one of those is a is a fight, is a is a different boss, so on and so forth, until the last one, coil four, final coil turn four. That's when you fight Muhammad himself. Okay. Then. You do it in savage mode, which is ten times harder than the normal mode. Oh, uh, you do. And then Heaven's Ward has um, Alexander is another guy that you gotta fight, like Muhammad. Then there's the savage version, and then Stormblood has Delta Escape, which you're fighting Omega. And then there's the savage for those, and then. And this one, the new one, is called Eden's Gate, where you fight different incarnations of past guys that you fought, like Titan, Lathiaton, stuff like that. But they're extra, extra hard. Like, they're even harder than the Savage guys. So, that's the fighting, that's the fighting aspect of this game. Doing all of that while you see how Brand's fighting, that dummy... That dummy is going to be Bahamut or Alexander. And you're going to have more players on the screen all doing something else. Tanking, healing, or fighting. And you got to work together to get it beat. But you got to know your moves. So that's what the game, you know, as you progress through the game, you get different abilities to do what you need to do. Okay, but that's the... Fighting it and the fighting aspect of the game, you know, but there's other parts to the game too. Like, for example, let me get out of here so I can show you the other part of the game. This is a social game. You can own houses. You can do whatever you want in this shit. You can customize your character any way you want. You don't have to be bound to one thing. Like, if you get gear that you think is ugly, you can go change it, but keep the stats that you earned. So, with that being said, I'm going to change to my carpenter. So, I have a carpenter. With this carpenter job, I can make, I can make things, make, make money. Pitch. All these are recipes from certain level ranges, and then I got master recipes. I can make, can make harder shit. I can make you a sandwich. Here, I get on my culinary. <laughs> I'll make you a sandwich. Shit, I got all kinds of recipes in here for for her. I can make you boiled eggs. I can make you a rye flour, honey. I can give you some kind of tree tree toad legs. You want those? How about some? Uh, here, I'll get down to the harder shit. Here we go. How about some roast ovum? Whatever that is. Sausage links, peppered po potatoes, mushroom skew skews, espresso, uh, coffee biscuits. I can make anything that you want. Lemonade. Want some lemonade? I can put a little stand up for you, and you can sell it. Um, and there's the master master recipes. Now, food gives you a boost in stats. That's the purpose of food. So every dish that you see here does something different for you in a fight. You eat it before you fight, and it gives you eight percent more dex, you know, dexterity. Yeah, you know, shit like that. So you can do that if you don't want to fight. You can be a crafter, which what I that's what I am. And then there's gathering jobs. Um, there's gathering. Like minor botanist, the botanist picks flowers and cuts trees down and 
shit like that. Anything that has to do with the land. Miner, cut, you know, you get rocks and raw material. And then you can go fishing if you want and catch fish. And all this stuff together works as one. You know what I'm saying? So right. you go gather, you go craft, then you go fight. Boom, done. You know what I'm saying? You can make money in this shit. Um, so these are the different jobs. You can be a paladin. Now the blue ones are uh, blue ones are tanks. So you can be a paladin, a warrior, a knight, or a gun burker, whatever that breaker, whatever you want to call that thing. Then there's the white mage, the scholar, and the astrologian. Those are all healers. And then you got a whole ass load of DPS of different kinds. You got melee, ranged, and magical. So you can punch shit, poke shit with a stick, stab it with a knife, hit it with a sword. You can do it any way you want to do it. You can shoot an arrow at it, a bullet at it, or dance around it. All right, or you can throw a fireball, summon uh, Bahamut, uh, look like Zoro with your little sword, or just kill it with a blue mage. I don't know what really what a blue mage does, but <clears throat> that's pretty much it. You need to do missions. There's there, there's always something to do in this game. You're never gonna get bored. I need you to I need you to make me a hat. And then you got guys like him that need a hat. So, what kind of hat do you need? Damn <laughs> right, it's important. <laughs> Let me you get my... the hierarchy uh... works? The bigger the hat, the more important you are. I need a big fucking hat. <laughs> I need to change my gear here. need a chimerical felt hat of casting. Weaver. Is this? Oh, that's what happened. Okay. I overrip my... Okay. What the fuck is this? I don't want this shit. Elite set. Get the fuck out of here. I don't want that shit. Alright. And this is my paladin right here. That's one of my my favorites. I gotta redo the whole hot bar now? What the fuck, bro? That shit irritates me, man. There's my hot bar for my paladin. God damn it, man. So when I over when I over I, Now, if you do get this game, fuck it by digitally. Okay. One I didn't force you to get it. Hello. <laughs> Two. I wouldn't just buy it and try to level from level one because you're going to be there till next Christmas. Trying to level to where I'm at. Yeah, just tell him up front. You're going to buy the complete edition of the game and spend like you're gonna, you're gonna bucks at least. Okay, you're going to spend 60 on the game which is the Realm Reborn and the three expansions for sixty bucks. Great deal because each expansion was fifty bucks a piece. Okay? Right. Two or three. <clears throat> Once you get set up, you get an account. When you get your username and password, record that shit, etch it in your socks and your shoes, whatever you gotta do, but don't forget that information. Because it's very important. <laughs> It's just a pain in the ass. It's, it's a pain in the ass to get it. They'll give it to you, but it's a pain in the ass. So make sure you write it down in the book or in a piece of paper on your phone. 
have that information ready when you need it. Because when you have to, you, it's a subscription-based game. So you, you pay a, a fee to play it so they maintain the game. This game has no latency, no lag, no nothing. This game is top-notch when it comes to quality of gameplay. Like, I've never experienced lag, latency issues, nothing. And that's because of the fee you pay them to maintain it. But anyways... You set up yourself on the MOG station. It's called a MOG station. It's where you pay your subscription fee. You can buy additional items. Well, while you're on that MOG station, you're going to buy this thing called a book of whatever. And that book is going to jump you from level 1 to level 70. For the story missions. Just the story missions. So... You're going to still be level 1, but you don't have to do missions to level. You can just go out, do your own thing to level up your character. You can level from 1 to 70 in 3-4 days. By doing dungeons and other things. That's playing every day, yes. But the thing about this game is... Give me a second, I gotta change the headsets. Fuck. You guys there? Yeah. All right. So the thing about this is, though, <clears throat> once you once you get rid of the, the story missions of, aspect of the game and just focus on the leveling and all that, that's where you're having the good fun. I hated quest grinding. I hated it. It sucked. Because you can't do stuff without doing the main story missions. You know what I'm saying? Like all those cool fights I showed you, you you can't do those if you're not doing the missions. Some of the missions you you have to unlock, like what we just did for Brand, unlocking that raid for him. That book won't take care of side missions. It only takes care of the main story missions. The side missions you got to go do yourself if you want. They're optional. You don't have to do them. That's why they're called side missions. But, yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, you could be DPS. Whatever you, whatever flinks your fancy, you can do. Um, but I would recommend you start with a DPS job, just so you learn mechanics and how things work in the game once you learn the mechanics of the game then you can start involving yourself in tanking or healing because those two jobs are more yeah, involved it's rough, yeah it's more <laughs> involved than it is being a dps dps the only job you have as a dps is to cause damage and that's it you don't have they to worry. Have yeah, that's a healer. <laughs> you don't. You don't have to worry about healing this guy, doing this, making sure this guy's alive. You know, or as a tank's point of view, you don't have to worry about. Oh, I got six mon monsters on me at once. Oh man, Billy Bo job there hit that guy really hard. Now that guy's going after him. You got to mitigate all that all that shit at one time. You know what I'm saying? That's what a tank's supposed to do keep the attention of the Why? of the enemies Why? and then the dps the only thing that they're supposed to do is fuck the healer fuck the tank i'm gonna kill this motherfucker right here that's all that's the only thing you have to worry about is causing damage and killing the motherfucker that's it now if you pick a dps range job like bard 
then you got to help with uh, certain things for the healer or for the tank. You know, it's a support role, basically. So, I mean, it's fun. I mean, once you get past the learning part of it, don't get frustrated because if you get frustrated with it, you're just going to hate it. People, it's going to take you a minute to get used to the interface. Yeah, the interface of it is kind of wacky, but once you get used to it and understand it, then you'll be fine. And there, and then other than me, the, the 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 server that I'm on, there's people. It's full of people that will help you. Most people are really nice on here because everybody has to learn at some point, you know. So nobody's really that much of a dick like they are on Call of Duty. So they're gonna help you if you ask a question. They're gonna answer it. You will run across a few elitists who think they're the shit don't stink and they they will put you down and make you feel bad, try to make you feel bad. But fuck those dudes. You know, they're nothing. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you surround yourself with people that will help you. So, like, Brand got on and he's already a millionaire. <laughs> but can't make his own hat. <laughs> so what kind of ha <laughs> so what <laughs> so what kind of <laughs> so what's the uh, hat called oh shit it's the chimera hat of casting or something like that what is it a weaver what's the repair requirements for it's a, a weaver it's, it's, a, it's a weaver a weaver okay yeah it's like a Big giant black and purple top hat. <laughs> God damn, bro. What level is it? Uh, let's see. Uh, it up. It's a 70? I didn't think it was that high. I thought it was a white item. Hats. Alright, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna sh it's teach you I'm gonna teach you how to share it. Felt hat of casting. Chimerical. Alright, so you got you looking at the item right now? Mm -hmm. Alright, put put so put your cursor on it and hit square. Uh-huh. And then put uh, what's the No, I, I gotta see what the option is to sh put it in the chat log for me. There, I just did it. Link it. Hit Just link. Did. It's in there. Look oh, at all right. Chat. Beautiful. Perfect. That's what I need. All right. So it's level 60. 60. Okay. That's how you uh, make it easier for people like me. What is it? It's a hat, right? Yeah. Oh, here it is. All right, I found it. So I need two pieces of chimerical felt. Chimerical felt. So that's cloth, right? Yeah. Yep. I need one piece of amphitheater. I can't even say it. Uh, it's this. I put it in the chat. Uh, the chimerical felt, was there a specific type? It just felt. Just normal felt. Here, I'll put the link in the, in the chat now that you know what that's all about. I'll put everything that you need in there for oh, you. I got it. Chimerical felt. How many did you need of them? Two. So all the ingredients are right there right. in the chat log. You just tell... <clears throat> I can't even see my fucking chat because it's so goddamn small. Uh, let's see here. You got the chimerical felt already, so if you can cross yeah. that off. Yeah, I got that. 
What was the second one? Uh, some kind of leather. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that word. What did it start with? An A. A M P H. Amphitier leather. Yeah, this game will challenge your uh, reading skills for sure. You get one piece of that leather. Did you say N or M? M as in Mike. And then you need crawler silk. How much of that amphitheater leather is... How many pieces? One? One piece. And same with the silk. One piece. And you're just using this for glamours, right? Yeah. Alright. So it doesn't have to be high quality? No. Nah. Alright. So, uh, amphitheater leather... What was the next thing? Crawler silk. Crafting is always cheaper than buying. Just so you know. If you get this game, Merc. Yep. Because all the raw materials are cheaper. To make something. The only reason why things are so expensive is because people are trying to make profit. How much crawler silk did you need? One piece. Alright. And then a grade one intelligence dissolvent. So you're going to find that in reg yeah. regonance or reginance. Whatever it's called. And what was the name of the again? Sorry. Grade 1, Intelligence, Dissolvent. Just one of those. It's like a little potion bottle. Make sure you get the Dissolvent, not the other ones. I'm about to, are you still watching, Mark, or are you done watching? Because I'm about to craft something. So, grade one intelligence dissolvent? Grade one di intelligence dissolvent, yeah. You needed just one or two? One. One. Okay. I bought a couple anyway. Then you. And what's cool about this game is you can pick any kind of character you want. I like to pick the little females with the big tits and nice ass. Because I like to look at that shit when I'm playing. You know me. I'm a little pervert. Like a perv. <laughs> like a weeb. You need felt, leather, silk, and dissolvent. You missing anything else? Nope. You're good to go. All right. Well, I can, I can one shot this hat.
You want to take that mask off, huh? Yeah, I Actually, think I kind of like the, I kind of like the mask, but the top hat looks hilarious. You want to see some hilarious shit? I'll show you some hilarious shit. Yeah, look at my big pimpin hat, son. <laughs> I see it. I see it. Well, while I'm in here, I'm gonna throw this stuff in here that I don't need. Alright, I'm showing the wrong one. Now. All that gear you see, if you're watching, Mark, is glamour gear. This is all gear that I got from doing fights. I, I just save it because I don't want to get rid of it. You know, I spent a lot of time trying to get it. Um. Oh, no, no, no. Not at all. I'm going to get something funny for you. You're going to laugh. I'm going to go hide behind this thing. Don't look. You ready? Flying <laughs> chicken. There's I got a bunch of stupid little outfits. Oh, I got slappy, bro. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I got a um, bunch of dumb little stupid things. I don't need all this. What the fuck is this? I have a retainer named after my wife and daughter. It's great. They're my slaves. Did you, you see it? It's funny as shit, bro. Yes. Charging 600k. They gave, the game gave it to me for a gift. I hate having a bunch of clutter in my fucking box.
No, I just took it off. All right. You ready to try that labyrinth of the ancients? Want me to heal it or DPS it? <laughs> you can do whatever you want. You could probably heal it because there's going to be five other healers on this thing other than you. Oh, hell no. I ain't trying to do some crazy shit like that. Bro. <laughs> right. Then we're going to be standing here for... Oh, it's queued up right away because you're the healer. Son <laughs> <laughs> of a bitch. <laughs> All right. You're also learned, Merc, that tanks and healers get insta cues. And right, I'm deep. DPS doesn't. <laughs> How long's the wait? Let's five less minutes. Than five minutes. That ain't shit. This guy's got his yeah, for people to join it, to join the queue with you. See how it says forming party. So when you're doing, like when you're waiting for your shit to start, that's when you can do side quests, craft, go fate grind somewhere, go beat on a dummy over here in the yard if you want. Work on your moves. Now this house that you see, work on your pen pen. <laughs> this house is the free company house. I bought and built this house. I built everything that you see in here. Yeah, it took a while. And then there you can go inside the house. I'll take you a tour on the house. All this furniture and everything you see in here, I built it and put it in here. <clears throat> if you're a member of the free company, like you see that fish on the wall? I caught that fish and mounted it. That's a trophy fish. Same with that marlin up there. Um, but... If you become a member of the free company, you can purchase your own room and design it the way you want. Um, you can repair your gear, buy crafting supplies. There's a share chest where you, you and your, your free company members can share stuff. Um, you see that behemoth head on the wall right there? I killed King Behemoth and mounted his head on the wall. Um, these little fish in this fish tank, I caught those and put them in there. This horn. It, this horn or tail, I don't know what the fuck this is. But I cut it off of the monster I killed it from. It's a big horse. Right there. Those jaws on the wall, I caught a megalodon. Killed it. Put it on there. This is the boom boom room. Where you, this is the, the inappropriate room where you do things in it. Whatever, if you want. Oh, I gotta pause the, uh, the tour. There's still a hole downstairs. Holy shit, there's a ton of people in this. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> You'll see. Oh, I'm gonna get kicked out of this, bitch. I can see this already. Nah, you, this is such old content. You, They won't even notice you're there. I 
is that black mage not doing any damage? <laughs> Why is he standing in everything? <laughs> Casting fireball. At least I look like a pimp walking across that <laughs> bridge. I like looking at other people's fucking characters, because look at this gay-ass motherfucker with a sweater on. Fuck out of here. Yeah, look at this guy with the sweater on right here. I'm looking at him. He's got them sneakers. <laughs> That's like, dude. Everybody's yeah, the in. clothes look very feminine in this shit. Some of them do. All right, so now we have twenty-four people on the map oh my right God, now. This alliance shit's right in the center of my screen. I can't see anything. What the fuck? Yeah, I have to. You got to do your HUD. I got that shit pushed to the side. You just We're, to hide that alliance list? You can if you want. I mean, you gotta go into the HUD options and and do it. But. Did it. It's done. Oh god. This is gonna be sealed off in 15 seconds. I might not make it. Go. It gives you an option to join once it's sealed off. I just hit the yes. <laughs> These are just trash mobs. Is there a certain way to focus what the tank's focusing? Um, there is a way to do it. I forgot. You looking at my hot bar when I'm playing? That's my all my moves. So, like the split shot, if I hit split shot, it's going to proc me to do a slug shot and then proc me to do a clean shot. That's a combo that I just did. See how easy that shit is? I'm trying... You can get rid of all that shit if you don't want... Like, people's names are unimportant. Some people have it to where you just see their life bar. And that's it. Me, I don't give a fuck. I just leave the names on there. Because I'm more focused on the, the boss than the person. So I do a, just watch the hot bar, not the character, where the moves are. See that little yellow line going around the, the thing there? That's telling me that's the next move in the, in the series of combo. I mean, this game is idiot, like... Idiot proof. You can you can't mess up at this shit if you if you pay attention to your hot bar.
Yeah, so anything when you get a dot like that around the square, and it's telling you that either the the ability is ready to be used or you should use it next. Yeah, the down at the bottom of my screen where all those those boxes are. Yeah. So when you look at the box and you see the box lighting up, that's the one that I'm hitting right at the moment. And then the one then the one with the the yellow dotted line going around it is the where it's telling me the next move to, to use. Uh, I'm doing great. I'm no, I'm really, I'm doing awesome, dude. I'm, I'm on an eight-game winning streak, and dude, I'm uh in the running for five hundred bucks right now. What do we do? Take the shortcut. Yeah, you can take the shortcut to the next section. What are these treasure coffer things? Oh, that's, that's gear. Open them up. Now I have... I think the guy that I'm playing against has Delvin Cook. We'll have to find out right now. Oh yeah, I beat his ass. He's He has Delvin Cook right now. Sucks, dude. That was my running back. God damn it. He's got Delvin Cook, but you said he's out. He's got 13 points. Bro, Delvin Cook just dropped 13 points. Yeah, but. He should normally, he's been dropping like 20 plus. Because I have Carson playing right now. He's at 15, almost 16 points. So, yeah, I just beat this guy. And he was number one in the league, too. He's seed number one. I beat him 118 to 105. Good. Get the fuck out of here. Let me get this W. Why is it saying invulnerable? Because you can't hit it. It's... What are we supposed to be hitting, then? Come, I need, come back on this pad right here that I'm standing on. Well, never mind, they killed it. Oh, well. So that's going to put me up to 9-4 and four for the season, and then we got the last three games as playoff games. You had an ESPN yeah, and then the guy that I just beat is ten and two, but he's gonna be ten and three as soon as I beat him. <laughs> so he's still number one in the in the the league, but I'm right behind him. I'm second place in points scored, so.
Well, my team right now is... <clears throat> right now I'm running with Patrick Mahomes, Chris McCaffrey, Chris Car or C. Carson, I don't know his name. Uh, Landry Jones Jr. from Detroit. John Brown from Buffalo, which has been lighting it up. Um, Goldert from Philly's tight end, which has been lighting it up. Um, Tevin Coleman. I got San Francisco's defense and uh, Greg Zerline is my kicker. I have a pretty solid team. And then my bench is Robert Woods, Sterling Shepard, Austin Hooper, Tom Brady, Matt Breida, Tyrell Williams, or whatever his name is, and M. M. Gay, whoever his name is Gay. I got him because he's he's gay, I guess. Um, that's just that money league. I have two. I'm in two free leagues right now, and I'm winning both of those free leagues. I had Matt Ryan, Deont. Uh, Adams, Devontae Adams. I picked up Conley in the free agency. I don't know who was stupid enough to drop him. Um, Jacobs from Oakland. Melvin Gordon. Um, Golder, Golder, uh, Beasley from Buffalo. Like those players that people don't think are good. Dude, like, perfect example, Beasley. You know, he just dropped 20 points for me this week. Oh, yeah, I've been... Yeah. I think... I think my team has gotten better as the season progressed because I picked up players out of the free agency, you know, that people are dropping and then giving up on. And I pick them up. I'm a dickhead. I'm, a, I'm, a, yo, know, I'm a dickhead when it comes to picking up players. Cause a guy a couple weeks ago picked up a, or dropped a guy on accident, and I grabbed him. He's like, "Yo, man, can I get that guy back? I, I didn't mean to drop." I'm like, "Sorry, sucker." <laughs> yo, yeah, like, "Sorry, sucker." He's in my, he's in my camp now. <laughs> I have no remorse, no remorse for motherfuckers in fantasy, bro. King Behemoth, here he is. He's going to drop these meteors down on your head, so get behind the rocks that you see. Fall on the ground. When he stands up on his hind legs. Like, there he goes. All right, find a rock and get behind it. Put the rock between you and him. And him. Oh, I'm sitting there telling you what to do, and I got blown up by it. Oh, man. That's just my shitty team. My, my better team in this one is Tom Brady, Deontay Hopkins, Deontay Adams, Mark Ingram, Melvin Gordon, Goder, Emmanuel Sanders, Keaton Allen, Evan Ingram, and then I got some trash players. This is a one this is an eight man league, yeah.
I guess they're not gonna resurrect us, huh? No. They never do. Bro, when I do my drafts, I don't draft the quarterback first. I don't draft... I go for my running backs my first three rounds. Because running backs are like everybody's... They hoard them. So you got to get your running backs as early as you can get them. Because there's not as many running backs yep. as everything else. Yeah, so... And then the next position that I get is tight end. Then I go for my ride receivers, and then I usually just go for my quarterback whenever I can slide one in. I don't, you don't need the best quarterback. You know what I'm saying? It it helps, but I mean, a quarterback can put up numbers really easy for you. So we're Lions A, so we need to be over here on the Lions A. Yep. All right, back off, back off. Get on the get on the platform and stay there. Don't move. And the reason I say don't move is because if you move, he you kill your whole team. I called off. I called off today. If someone didn't make it. Yeah, I call, I didn't go to work today because I was having chest chest pains. Um. Uh, yeah. I'm so glad I'm out of retail, man. I made a lot of money in retail, but. I couldn't deal with it anymore. Ooh, I like that jacket. Why? Where do these jackets come from, bro? Let me get that shit. What does this one look like? Oh, that shit's nice, too. Like, where do these come from? Do they put new shit in this game? Oh, it's, I can't get it anyways. It's for samurai. Fuck, but still, it looks nice. Give me that fucking body piece. I'm not leaving until it drops in my inventory. Come on, greedy bastards. I'll sit here all day. This is what people do to get the loot. They, they stay in the freaking thing. Because as soon as you leave, it drops in the in their inventory. I'll sit here all day. You know what? I'll even do this just to show that I'm staying for a while. Sit down on the ground. Thank you very much. <laughs> I got something. You can throw that away, what you just got. That's pretty much toilet paper. I wanted... I wanted this piece for the... 
the glamour. I know that's what I'm picking up shit for is the glamour pieces. <laughs> What time is it? My annoying Let's wife see. will be home in five in, a, in an hour. She's gonna come downstairs. Why didn't you go to work today? Let me see. What this looks like. Man, that's a nice piece. All right, buddy. All right, man. All right. All right. Yeah, this is what this is what I picked up. I'll show you. How do you know what loot you picked up? Where are you at? Are you in this zone? Oh, okay. well, you're not I even in the. Even picked up. All right, if no, you go I'm in your still, inventory. I'm the labyrinth. If you go in your inventory. Oh, I gotta go do that quest. I gotta speak to Graha at the Saint Quinox Find or whatever for that mission. Since we just completed the labyrinth. All right, so let me read where you got to go next. All right, so you did the labyrinth. So you you go, you do find it. <clears throat> okay, at return to Saints Karanch and find and speak to Grata. Back to the Vex. Back to the excavation site, Garata invites you to take a moment to collect your thoughts before debating on how to proceed. Then you're going to go, next mission is for posterity. Blah, 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 yakety smackety, yakety smackety. And then you do these Cyrus Tires. Huh? Are they, these are the next missions for the next raid then, huh? Yes. There's only one between each one. So what's the place I gotta go to get to? You go to the same place as you went to the labyrinth, I think. I just gotta run outside. What does it tell you to go for the Cyrus Tower? Well, I gotta speak with Groha at the Saint Quinox Find or whatever. Is that just down from the labyrinth? Yeah, you declare your readiness to enter the Cyrus Tower. On your way to the top of the structure, you strike down Emperor Zindi. Um, you have defeated Zindi, but your victorious proves li short-lived. Even as Doga and Yuri attempt to... Okay, Cloud of Darkness puffs, blah, 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 blah. Also, right after Cyrus Tower, you do the World of Darkness. Right after that.
gotta go to eight sentinels now, I guess. Whatever the hell that is. Eight sentinels? I don't even know where that is, bro. Uh, looks like the base of the Crystal Tower. Yeah, that's... You're about to do, you're about to unlock Cyrus Tower. Yeah, that's where. So how do I, who the fuck is that? ready to go to bed. Alright, bro. I'm going to get off.
All right, buddy. Uh, 